Hi, uh, this is just a quick update on the Cannon Court Cup uh, race, which is um, taking place next week, race one. I just want to give you a quick rundown of the precautions we're putting in place um, to sort of mitigate the, the COVID-19 risk. So uh, just a quick rundown on what's changed prior to a normal event, okay? So um, the dates have obviously changed. Um, we were due to race in April. Now we've had to fit that into one race every two weeks for the next few months. Um, those dates are on the website, so you can check that all out. The start line, we're gonna do waves from now on. Um, we will be doing uh, a wave at 12, 12.30, 1, 1.30. Um, this is to ensure that we don't uh, exceed the uh, sort of guidelines of having more than 40 people um, in one place at one time, as laid out by the State of Jersey government. The course uh, will stay the same, um, so, so there's no change there. The start line, we will be socially distancing uh, people, so we will have people one metre apart. We'll put doctor on the line, so we don't even have to worry about that. You can just uh, do that. Um, we do ask that uh, with the waves, um, if you're taking part on, on wave two, please don't arrive until wave one has left. So you know your wave uh, wave two will be twelve thirty. Please don't arrive until after five past twelve when, when, when the first wave will have left. If you break the rules and we have more than forty people in one place at one time, then the race can't go ahead. So we really need you to. Just be observant of these, of these rules. Um, the way the waves work, um, we've issued each team with four race numbers. Uh, they're in sequence, so the earliest race number goes to wave one, next one goes to wave two, and so on and so forth. Work that out between you, who's going to come to each one. If you get the waves mixed up and you come to the wrong way, we won't be able to adjust your time. Um, the finish, um, so once you've finished, uh, you're going to take a bottle of water and then we just ask that you go then. If we do break the rules, like I said before, um, no more races. Um, so we, we really need to just get this right. Just observe um, the things we're asking you to do and it just means then, as we go through this process, we can, we can get these races done and hopefully in a couple of weeks, a couple of months, it'll look more like a race that we know and love. Needless to say, if you have COVID symptoms, just please don't come. Um, just give your race number to somebody else. Get better and then come back when, when, when you are. T-shirts, we're going to send them out to the captains and the race numbers. They will then distribute that to you guys uh, as and when they see you. So, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to seeing you next Wednesday. Uh, so just to reiterate, don't turn up um, until the previous wave is gone. The start line, obviously we're going to be socially distanced. Once you've finished your race, please leave the finished area and go back to work. If you have COVID symptoms, please don't show up to the race. And most importantly of all, try and have fun, even with it, all the precautions we've got in place. Thank you. If you have any um, further questions or if you feel there's something I'm quite covered here, just email me on the email address across the